letters from the pastor. Do not be blinded by circumstances. Our scripture reading is Romans chapter 8, verses 28 through 29. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Circumstances is a very interesting word. It could mean situations, facts, state of affairs, conditions, or events. We are considering the word circumstances in the light of a person's state of affairs. Many of us, even as believers in Christ Jesus, can become so blinded by circumstances that we forget who we are. We forget we are the called in Christ. We forget our status. We forget our authority as children of the Most High God. We forget the promises of God are yea and amen. Is it that we really forget? Or is it that we become negligent or careless or casual? We want the Holy Spirit to open our eyes and let us not be blinded by circumstances to the extent that we do not recognize the abundance of blessings the Lord has for us. We belong. We have been purchased. We have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. We have been made joint heirs with Christ. Therefore, we want Him to open our eyes that we may see. We need to be aware of the abundance of blessings the Lord has for us, notwithstanding our present situations. Regardless of our present circumstances, God has blessings for us. For many people, there are dark days ahead, not just for the ones who have lost their jobs, but for the people who depend on the people who worked. But God is our refuge and strength. Psalm 46 and verse 1. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. He has promised, I will never leave you, I will never abandon you. The God of heaven, the holy God, the God who gave his son, Jesus Christ, declared, I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 and 6. Just where we are, God wants to deal powerfully with us. He wants to pour out his power and his love by his spirit. As we acknowledge, recognize, and practice His presence, God wants to show us that when we are afraid, we can trust in Him and find confidence and peace. When we are weakened and weary, we can find strength and rest. When we are saddened by hard situations, we can find joy in Him. When we are weighed down by distress, we can find him as the one who bears all our burdens and carries our sorrows. When the storms of life beat heavily upon us, we can find shelter and a safe refuge in him. Our circumstances do not have to blind us. His presence will go before us. His presence will accompany us. His presence will preserve us. Do not be afraid of what is happening. Do not become discouraged by circumstances and situations you have no control over. We know who has control. God has the final say. He has promised. I will never leave you. No, never. I will never forsake you or abandon you. No, never. He is Jehovah Jireh, the God who will supply all our need. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you, Lord, for those who have listened in, those who took the time to listen. And we pray, oh God, that the Holy Spirit will minister to them. Father God, as your presence will go before us, as your presence will accompany us, as your presence will preserve us, we believe, oh God, that you will undertake for us. 
Let every need be met. Let every heart be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. This is Lloyd and Norma Hart. We love you. Amen. Be